gentlemen, we have our chairman here. Oh, thank you. Uh, I got two o'clock, so uh, we're going to get this uh, get this meeting started. And I know people have got uh, Valentine's things they need to do today. So uh, hope all y'all, the ladies especially, have had a good Valentine's Day or will have one. But let's have a word of prayer, and then we're going to get into our meeting. Lord, we do thank you for this day. Thank you for the opportunity you've given us to serve uh, the citizens of Georgia. Lord, we pray, as the preacher said this morning, that you'd give us the, the wisdom, Lord, like you, you blessed Solomon, Lord, to make uh, good decisions in everything we do. We just thank you again for the opportunity. We thank you for these that are here. And, Lord, just bless in all aspects of our lives. Lord, you know our needs before we do. And we just ask that uh, we be receptive to your will and do what you'd have us do in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for being here. Uh, we got one bill on the agenda, and Mr. Chairman, if you and the uh, Senator want to come up and have a seat, uh, y'all can sit over here or stand either way you want to do it, whatever's good for y'all. Uh, come on over. Uh, we're taking up uh, Senate Bill 85. Uh, the LC, I believe the correct one is LC 363251S. And uh, Senator, let me get you guys table mic. Y'all should be live. Uh, I don't know. How do I turn the other, other one on down there? Just, just. Okay, both should be on. All right. Thank you, gentlemen, for being here. And, Senator, I think your portion starts on page four, I believe it is. That's correct. Of the bill. We look forward to hearing from you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Committee members, you know, going back two years ago, we created the tour. And what this bill does, it eliminates the tour requirement. It allows all Georgia brewers to sell direct to patrons up to 3,000 barrels a year. It allows up to a case to take to buy to go, which is 288 ounces. It allows on-premise sales, and it gives the commissioner the ability to enforce penalties and restrictions for any violations, and it just cleans up the language to local ordinances, whatever they permit, and allows them to sell to go. Well, let's, let's hear from uh, <laughs> let's hear from Chairman Steve. Thank you, brother. I'll drink to that. Huh? <laughs> Chairman Stevens, what you got in your portion of this bill? In that case, I'll be real brief, Mr. Chairman. Is there gambling in No, sir. There's no gambling. This is a this is a whole Section lot of eight. cooperation. <laughs> Six, yeah, a whole lot of cooperation by the uh, uh, all the parties that are involved to uh, to make sure that these people can get their product to market, and it has to do with the distillery piece. Uh, if there is a 500 uh, barrel uh, limit that they can sell to the consumers, a maximum of three bottles uh, out of their uh, distillery. We have the first one opening up in Savannah, I might add, um, since um, prohibition. Uh, so it's a it's a pretty big deal, and uh, right on the tourist line. So there again, uh, through lots of cooperation thousands of hours of meetings over the uh, summer there's an agreement and uh, as far as I know there's no opposition to the bill all right we had a sign-up sheet I don't see anybody that signed up to speak so everybody's happy oh uh, I, I want to say again we said this in the subcommittee meeting chairman Martin you've just about missed it uh, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I do appreciate the work that's going into this I know the uh, the uh, associations Craft Beer Association, Distillery Association, uh, beer wholesalers, wine and spirit wholesalers, retailers have all worked together to, I think, come up with a good product for us to uh, to move forward here. That's going to uh, the uh, maybe some economic uh, development for the state of Georgia. And I know Chairman Stevens, you're all about that. Absolutely. But I do appreciate the work that's gone in in this and the, the spirit of cooperation we've seen. It's uh, quite a lot different from what it was two or three years ago. But I, I, for one, after going through this, do appreciate it. All right, we've heard a testimony. Any questions from committee members? All right, got uh, ready for a motion. If nobody's got questions. All right, moving to second. All in favor of that number saying aye. All right, so this will be in the rules tomorrow, and uh, we'll look forward to Mr. Meadows working with you on that. If it'd be all right, I'd be happy to carry this on the floor for Absolutely. you, sir. Absolutely. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. All right. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you all. Uh, before the committee leaves, we got a couple of uh, bills that have been dropped. Uh, let's see. We got, uh, I think I've already assigned House Bill 175 was assigned to alcohol. We got low-voltage contractors. Uh, Representative Hawkins 
That's going into regulations. Uh, Domestic Violent Help and Hands Act. Everybody wants to know why is that doing in our committee? I think this is dealing with, I talked to uh, Mr. Beverly today, uh, in, in certain barbershops, uh, I think uh, beauty parlors, I don't know, nail places, uh, wherever, they, they, they have training and what he would like to see is uh, a little training to recognize domestic violence and maybe help people that come into these areas if they recognize maybe some domestic violence. So anyway, that's going to professions, uh, boards and commissions. Secondary metal recyclers, this is a continuing project that we work on all the time. That's going to regulations. And uh, funeral directors, uh, another popular bill this year. That's going to professions, boards, and commissions. Uh, now day 28 is our crossover day this year. That is going to be Friday, March the 3rd. If I'm counting right from today, we've got about 10 days or so to get bills out of subcommittees and uh, as far as legislative days, now we'll have some uh, couple of breaks in there for committee meetings, but subcommittees and uh, subcommittee members, if, if y'all got something you want to get out, we need to start working on that. Uh, I, I'd like for not us to be, not be backed up all night on Friday, March the 3rd. I'd like to get out here at a reasonable hour so if we can move some, any bills we want to get out, that would probably be a good thing to do. Anything else for the good of the committee? If not, thank you very much. We may have a meeting Thursday, committee members, Thursday at 2 o'clock. We've got a couple of bills in subcommittee that we are trying to get out, so we'll probably have, won't be anything related with alcohol, so none of my alcohol friends have to worry about that. But we may have a meeting on Thursday. Thank you very much. We're adjourned. <laughs>